Hello and welcome to Arachnophobia The Answers. So, well done to those of you who have watched the video I put online and read the text and those of you who have done the questions. Remember, we should still be at school, so should be doing the work, okay? Let's have a look through. So, question one said, what is a phobia? Now, I explained that in the text, but if you didn't quite catch it, if you didn't get it from the tone, of the text, then you also are at home, you've got Google. Could have Googled that one. So the Google definition of what is a phobia is an extreme or irrational fear of or aversion to something. So an irrational fear is where you're scared of something that you shouldn't necessarily be scared of. So if you're scared of spiders, it's like when people say, well, think about that spider. You're a and a million times the size of it, it's probably scared of you. Or if you're scared of the dark, it's an irrational fear because you know there's nothing there, but these are fears that we all have at some point or another. So, question two. Why or what type of person might want to read this page? Well, it's about spiders, it's full of facts, so who's looking for it? Probably someone who is studying or interested in spiders. I also think it's possibly someone who is trying to overcome their fear of spiders because they say the best way to overcome a fear is to get involved with it and you'll start to get used to it and it won't be an issue. So when some of you met Maisie the dog, some of you were quite frightened or put off by the dog, but as soon as you saw how friendly she was, you were straight on it. So. Well done if you got that one right. Next, the word was embark. What do you think this word means? Now, the word means to start or to get on. And if you look at it, the position of it in the text, it's at the start of the text. We are about to embark on a terrifying journey. We are about to start a journey. We are about to go on a journey. So we haven't finished it. We've literally just started it. Now, antonym, bit of spag for you. What do we think antonym means? It's the opposite. And the opposite of embark is disembark. Well done if you tried and you thought you knew the opposite, so you were like unembark, but disembark is the word that you want. So the next one, how do you think the Goliath spider got its name? Now, for those of you who remember doing roads last year, I believe we had a similar word like Colossus. There was a statue of Colossus. And it says the world's largest spider is the Goliath spider. So what do you think Goliath could mean? Well, Goliath was the name of a giant. And this is the largest spider in the world. So if you put Goliath means big or giant or huge, or, well, not big, but biggest, then I'd say you can have that one. Right, now venom means poison. Find another word in this paragraph that means poisonous. Well, venom is poison already. So that could be a clue and that suffix nus. So I'll go through the text. Black we're doing comparison, hard to spot. Blacks are uh, scarlet, hourglass shape, looking for the word. Oh, venomous bite. Well, it's got venom. And it's got that O-U-S suffix. So, does it work? Poisonous bite? Seems to work. So it's venomous. How many eyes do spiders usually have? Now, where did we look for this one? It was on the diagram. And there are eight. Now, I know it's a bit small. But on the picture that I, uh, I showed you on the website, you could see the eight. And I think I said the answer. List three countries where you would find the Black Widow. Hmm. So, looking through the text, I know that countries, they start with capital letters and that they're proper nouns. So, let's go through, located, capital letter. It's not a country, it's the start of the sentence. But next, Australia and South Africa. Well, there's two, I can keep reading. Venomous bite of spiders biting humans in the USA. There's three countries. 
So Australia, South Africa and the USA. Right. How long does it take a trapdoor spider to build its home? So I find the paragraph which is about the trapdoor spider. It doesn't say build its home, but I know how it does it. It burrows underground. So it can take six to 12 hours. Right, this one. What type of spider is the Goliath spider? Well, it's a tarantula. And how big can this spider grow? It's 25 centimetres. And the line you were looking for was in common with all tarantulas. Now, did you don't you, I hope you didn't forget this bit in the top right. Which spider has the strongest web? Well, it doesn't say web in this bit, but did you realize the drag line produced by the golden orb weaver spider is the strongest natural fiber known to man? Well, I know spiders produce things and it produces a web, so I'm going for that one. If you just put golden orb, I'm afraid you're wrong. You needed golden orb weaver spider. And why are scientists going for it? They want to use it in bulletproof vests because it's so strong. Look at that last sentence. So the black female widow spider, if it bit you, what would happen? Well, you would have muscle spasms and sickness. And if you wanted to research more information on spiders, where would you look? Well, at the bottom of the page, there was a website that www.kidzone.ws forward slash LW forward slash spiders. So let's look. How would you best describe its tone? Choose from the list. So tone is how it sounds. It's your tone of voice. We've got friendly, threatening, welcome, scary, and strong. Let's have a look. I've highlighted some key phrases. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Then we've got the word terrifying journey. Then we've got the phrase strike fear into the hearts of many, peer deep into the dark and sinister world of a vicious killer, keep your eyes peeled. It could be around you. Hidden realms, it's holding a secret. Deadly creatures. Well, those phrases don't suggest friendly. The fact that it's saying it's a killer and that it could be around you, that's definitely threatening. Not very welcoming. I'm not saying, no, look, there's some nice spiders around. They're trying to make it scary. Um, whilst you could argue it's strong, I would disagree. I don't think it's very bossy. So your answers are threatening and scary. So how would this threatening and scary tone put people with arachnophobia off from reading this page? Well, it would increase their fear. So some people might, with arachnophobia might read it and think, oh, you know what, I'm gonna learn the facts. But some people who are super scared of spiders might think, oh my word, this is gonna be super, super scary and make it even worse. I'd be much more scared. And then, finally, is this echoed in the choice of font used for the title of this page and how? Well, there's the title and look at it. It's not written normally, is it? The letters are spaced out. Sort of splattered all over the place. There's webs behind it. So it is echoed and it's threatening and scary because it looks as if it's made of webs and blood. Now, well done to you for getting those questions done and hopefully you got a lot of them right, especially the retrieval ones where you have to go in and find the facts out. I'm going to put another text up and what I want you to do is go through it. If you can print it off, great. If not, just read it. Find what you think the key points are. And then tomorrow I will go through the text like I did before, show you the key parts and put the questions up. Well done on all the hard work, those of you who are missing school and can't wait to get back. See you later.